Welcome back guys. It's been a long time since I made a video. Hope you guys have all been well. Um, there's been a few changes on PBE. I'm sure you guys all know about the jungle changes so far. And a lot of them are really good for Yorick. And I'm going to break down in this video all the things that you probably don't even realize uh, change that are extremely good for jungle Yorick. So first of all, the biggest change so far is that jungle monsters no longer deal 50% bonus damage to Mistwalkers. It's been in the game since season, around about season two and season three, where it was at a time where Malzahar Jungle was actually really popular and Shaco was, I'm pretty sure Shaco was taking over the Rift. So what Riot did is they made Jungle Monsters deal 50% damage to increase to Malzahar's Voidlings and Shaco Boxes. And that's been in the game for so long, people didn't even realize it was there until I discovered it again last year. I petitioned with Riot to get it fixed, and they finally fixed it. So now, instead of taking reduced damage from jungle monsters, Miss Walkers take 100% damage, and that's it. After calculations, before they took about 125%, now they take only the 100. So that's good. That's number one. The reason that's so good, and you'll see in this clear, is what it does is it lets your Miss Walkers survive an extra, like, three hits from jungle camps. So we'll quickly fast forward, and I'll show you just why it's important. So on live servers, if you try to take Womp with four ghouls, they can't do it. It's been a long time since Yorick schools have been able to solo a single camp. It's actually way back in season seven. We used to do this exact clear right here. And Miss Walkers back in season seven would solo Gromp. Once they nerfed Miss Walkers damage, we got screwed. They couldn't solo the Gromp at any stage of the game, apart from once you started getting AD. Now, because these ghouls are taking 100% damage instead of 125, you can see this Mistwalker has 263 health. This Gromp is now only doing 70 damage instead of around about 90. If you add that up over four ghouls, it's actually a shit ton of, of extra health. So the important thing with this clear is you need to always have four ghouls at all times. And you need to get four ghouls off these two camps. And then you need to chuck them on this and basically just run it. So we'll start you through. So imagine this clear starts at 1.30. You're actually going to auto queue the small wolf. Fuck me, I keep going too fast. So you're gonna auto queue the small wolf. The reason we do that is because Yorick's clear is gated by his Q cooldown, right? We can't simply just walk away from this camp unless we've got two last hits on the smaller wolves, right? It's actually faster to auto queue because your Q will be up in cooldown in time for this right there. Okay, so you're gonna hit this one as much as you can. You want the blue to die ASAP, obviously. And you wanna stand around about here <laughs> to be able to land your E on the Grom. So you'll see, as soon as we get a little bit further, around about here, and it's gonna land and it's gonna hit the Grom. Now, all these Miss Walkers are gonna jump onto that, but the more important thing is you need to stand close enough to this Grom, so that it, uh, to the blue, so that it dies by the time you get there. So. You see, I just landed the extra auto, but you can actually time it so that you don't have to do that. So hitting the blast cone is faster. Now, the problem with this clear is this is a very vulnerable camp now. If you chuck your ghouls on this camp, you can't protect this. So if someone comes in, they can easily steal this camp, whether it be a top lane or a jungle, right? But in terms of optimizing, it's like that. So you'll see, I chucked my E early here. Now, most Yorick's, what they'll do, and it's what I used to do, is you used to walk here and then chuck your E that way, right? The reason I do it this way is because if you do it that way, it you actually kill the, wolf, uh, the Raptor Cat too quickly. Now, we are going to use four ghouls to solo the red buff. Yes, it can happen. It's the first time in history it can happen. But the problem is if you eat every single Raptor, they all die too quickly in time for your Q to come back for the fourth ghoul. So what you're going to do instead is you're gonna wait till you get to around about here, right there, and you're gonna E on the angle so that you hit only the back, around about back three or four. You want the first two ghouls to stay fully healthy, right? You're gonna walk into this bush and kill the first one that you can see that's missing health, that you've hit with your E, right? And you're gonna last hit it with Q. So it should be two autos and a Q. Bang, boom, done, right? From here, you're just gonna hit the big one. Okay, you're going to kill this ASAP. You're going to wait for your Q to come back off cooldown. And then you're going to hit that one there. So that's two graves. Now, if you don't know already, the big Raptor is going to drop a grave automatically. You do not need to last hit this with Q, okay? That's an important thing. So you're simply going to kill the big Raptor ASAP. 
and then you're gonna walk. The jungle items burn over time is gonna kill these. You just have to last hit one of them. So you'll see we last hit one, the other ones die, and now your ghouls are gonna jump. So ghouls from here will solo this camp, okay? It takes them a while to solo it. As you can see, the ghouls are still going on Grom. So it's not a quick clear in terms of getting everything done, but in terms of optimization, this is by far the fastest clear you'll get. So leave the ghouls there. Important thing to note is you can start Q, uh, you can actually level Q instead of W here. I've been told that might potentially be faster. Um, but what you can do, number one optimization here, is you can trigger this um, big, small Krug to the point where he's gonna aggro and run out to here. So it saves you like one or two seconds. But the big important thing to note is you can't cast your E. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll walk here and they'll cast their E and hit the Krugs to start your clear. Bad, 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 you can't do that. The reason you can't do that is because you have four ghouls soloing the red buff right now. If you land your E right here, hitting that camp, these ghouls are just going to jump to it. You need to leave it. That's the first reason. The second reason you can't cast your E is because if you cast your E right now, it won't be back in time for when these ghouls, for when this camp dies down, right? So we're going to smite this one. We're going to auto Q. If you had casted your E to start with, you won't have your E available right now to, to land it on all six of these crugs, okay? That's why it's a not a best thing to do to cast your E. But you can cast it from here, and you'll see it won't aggro those ghouls, right? From here, I'll call it an effective clear. This is not a full clear, full clear, right? It's not like every other champ where every camp is dead at this time. Doesn't work that way for us. You can do that, or you can do a full effective clear, which is every single camp will die to you from here on. So right now you can see I've killed Krugs. Every camp is dead except red. Red will die to your ghouls though. So right here, you can then run to bot and you will have at least three ghouls because you can see the Gromp ghouls are now coming to your help, to your aid, and you can go gank bot, right? So there is room for you to move. These ghouls won't despawn the red ghouls because Yorick will only despawn ghouls if they're in range of him. If I was here, these ones would despawn and then these ones would run to me and that would fuck everything up. So you definitely have to path this way. Um, and you'll see this red will die around about now-ish. Now, the game time for this is 3.15. The game time for this, where you last hit these ones with your E, the fastest I've been able to get is 2.55 on the nodes, right? Now, important thing to mention, which I'll bring up here, is, <laughs> and to confuse you guys even more, Yorick's clear can't go below 2.50. It is absolutely impossible for Yorick's clear to go below 2.50, right? Actually, it's probably impossible for it to go below 252. The reason of that is we're gated by smite cooldown. If you run Cosmic Insight, which is what I'm running here, your smite cooldown goes to 80 seconds, which means you get your first recharge of smite at 250. We need that smite to kill the grunt, to kill the crap. So you either run Cosmic Insight and you can land your smite at 250, or you don't run Cosmic Insight and you get your smite at three minutes. That's why it takes two seconds for the Gromp to for the Krugs to break, then one second for the E to land. It's around about two to three seconds you need. So if you don't run Cosmic Insight, you're looking at about three minutes and three, two, three seconds. If you do run Cosmic Insight, you're looking at around about two minutes 55. You could probably optimize it to 253, to be honest, but that's one thing to know. In terms of runes, you can run whatever you want. Um, I've been running uh, double attack damage with absolute focus. You're always healthy in the jungle. So this does work pretty well. Um, important thing to note as well is because the ghouls survive for so long, absolute focus ends up working really nicely for us because the, your ghouls have three extra AD right now. As a combined, because they get 25% each, they technically each have three extra AD right now. Or not each, but combined three extra AD. Because they're all attacking more, that actually adds up over time. Might not be a whole lot, but it does add up, right? That's one thing to note. You can run Phase Rush. This is one example of a page. You can also run First Strike. You can also run Conqueror. Out of all of them, I'd probably say Conqueror is the best one to start off with. If I was going to scrap anything, I'd say if you're new, don't run Cosmic Insight. Just run... Uh, just go Conqueror plus Sorcery and take Absolute Focus or just run Conqueror plus um, Inspiration and grab Free Boots and Approach Velocity. Like, you can do whatever you want. 
the actual jungle clear right now is pretty good. It's actually really good right now. Yo, it clears everything super quick. You don't need to optimize it this hard. 255 is the fastest I've gotten, but I can get a consistent three minutes, three minutes and five seconds, which is still much better than all the other junglers. You can see, I've seen a few videos of people saying fiddlesticks can get 290, 258. We've gotten 255. Like we're actually faster than fiddlesticks right now, which is kind of nuts. It's insane. Um, but that's, like I said, it's counting of the effective clear. It's not counting a full clear. If you want the fastest full clear, you're looking at about 305. I can't see yourself getting lower than 305, but that's just one way of doing it. Second thing to note, and I don't have a clip right now for it, um, which is a shame, but um, Yorick can still solo Baron. Yorick can still solo Dragon with Ghouls. Yorick can solo Baron, <laughs> except for some reason it's really hard now. I don't know what changed, but it's ridiculously hard. Um, so you can run Demonic and go for some real fun gameplay, which is absolutely hilarious for your jungle. Um, otherwise, you just run a standard build. I'd probably put an emphasis on items like Cerildas and Lethality because you can really take the jungle quick now and you can really take Baron quick now using Lethality. So that's probably one thing that I would say look into. It's not as user-friendly as before, but I haven't tested it enough on PBE. You never know, it might actually be good at getting used to things, getting used to your damage output. You probably need to play a bit more safe though. Now, biggest things to watch out for Yori Jungle. I just got the idea for this right here. Is you need to land your Qs and you have to have four ghouls. So you see over here, there's four ghouls. This is the mandatory minimum to take this camp. If you have three, it will not work. You need four. Similar over here, you need four to kill red. So if you do what I do here, First grave is fine. But then when I do the second one, boom, I fucked it up. This will not solo red anymore. So if you ever fuck it up like this, or you fuck it up over here, you need to attack it a few times as Yorick to, like, to make sure they solo it. Here, what I would probably do is I would go for three, and then I would E that, and I would attack it another like five or six times. Because you'll see, if I do this, if we watch this red now, oh, I probably had the intuition that it wouldn't work. But you can see how low it gets. But there's still only three ghouls. Right now, there's nowhere near enough time for it to kill, to, for it to die two or three ghouls. There's actually an interesting technique which I've been trying to work out if it's possible because if these ghouls were here and I land E and run away, you could potentially have up to seven ghouls killing this red. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if you can optimize it, but it's pretty fun. Apart from that, your jungle is pretty bloody decent. Wolf start, no leash, seems to be the fastest clear. Even with a leash, I would still go wolf start. So if you can get a leash either here by your bot lane or here from your top lane, it is by far the best start you can get. Raptor start does work, but it adds around about, I think it was 10, 7 or 10 seconds. If you do get a leash on wolves, you need to tell your team to hit the small wolf, right? If you ever get a leash, Biggest thing, tell your team to hit the small wolf. If they do hit the small wolf, don't auto Q. Yorick's clear is gated by two things, smite and Q cooldown. You want it to hit the Q, you want them to hit the small wolf because you need to get that Q off sooner. As soon as you land your Q on that wolf, on that wolf there, you can then kill the rest of the camp as fast as you want. It will have your Q up available sooner. If ideally you get them hit that and hit this at the same time. If you can get both of them dead, you'll see if I do this, it usually cross here around about 149 if you're doing it leashed. So around about here, it's about 149, 150. If you can cross here three seconds sooner, you could potentially full clear at 250. That is insane. Um, I still don't think you'll duck below the 250 or even to be honest, I still don't think you'll be able to duck below 252 because we are gated by that smite cooldown. We need that smite to kill the last Krug. So, you actually, I'm probably lying. I don't think you can get below 252 even with a leash. <laughs> so, forget that. Um, but yeah, Raptor start or Wolf start is by far the best. If you go Raptors, uh, red into Krugs, it's still slower than if you went Raptors, either red, finish Krugs, run back up. It's still slower than that. I don't know why. It's just crazy. The, the fact that we leave camps to be finished by ghouls alone changes everything. It is by far the best change we could ever have for Jungle Yorick. Um, so very exciting changes to look forward to. 
like I said, there's the minion damage, uh, monster damage to ghouls that's been changed. Uh, can't think of anything else that has been changed for Yoru Jungle specifically. I think that's it. So, fun things. Jungle's going to change. So, this is just a guide for right now PBE. I'll keep you guys updated for any future changes that are going to be incoming. The last thing I wanted to bring up is Monster Hunter. I've always been the biggest fan of getting rid of Monster Hunter. If you don't know Monster Hunter, it's if you kill um, a certain amount of jungle uh, of lane minions as a jungler, as long as you have the, the smite and jungle item, you will eventually get something called Monster Hunter debuff. And it effectively reduces your golden experience that you get from lane minions. It's to prevent funnel. So it's to prevent people from going Master Yi Tarek and then just giving all the mid lane to Master Yi so he gets effectively all the jungle and all the mid lane. Right. This screws with Yorick. Out of every champion in the game, we get fucked the most. Because we leave ghouls in lanes, which eventually get lane minions. We want to push lanes to get towers. We get it. This lasts up to 20 minutes, which is so bloody annoying. The amount of times I got Monster Hunter at 12 minutes in is just so frustrating. I had it on good terms and very sneak peek that Monster Hunter is being changed. It's not being removed, but it's being changed. If that's a good change for us or a bad change, I have no idea. But it is being addressed and the way it is activated is being changed. So get excited for that. I'll probably release another video when that does happen or when we do know a little bit more about that. But so far, if anything changes on the jungle item or the clear, you bet I'll be there to update this video as we go. If Jungle Yorick stays the way it is right now, I'll definitely be back in season 13. Um, I basically haven't played because I haven't been able to make it work. It, it's been so slow to clear. He has no impact after the start. And I just generally just didn't like the state of the game. But the way this is going, I can definitely see myself playing in Season 13. If he has this good of a clear, and there's things like objective bounties, and especially if Monster Hunter goes, I will be fucking all the way over here. So I hope you guys like this one. I'll keep you updated. Um, if you want to, I'm always experimenting with stuff, always trying stuff out. So if you want to join my Discord, I'm still really active on my Discord and I'm always testing out clears, always testing out items. Um, if I'm not in my Discord, you can always catch me on Slog Dog stream. I'll link that as well. Um, he's a really high low Yorick player and I just love shit talking him with trolls and memes. So come around and have a little watch. Other than that, thank you so much for coming. Um, I appreciate you guys all waiting and sticking around for this long if you are watching this video and you are a sub. Um, I appreciate the patience. If you didn't know already, I'm now an admitted lawyer. I graduated university and I'm <laughs> I'm a lawyer now. I work in criminal law. Um, so in my spare time, I play league if I'm not at work. Um, but hopefully if I do get started again streaming, I'll have not only good league gameplay, but very fun stories for you. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this one um, and I'll definitely keep you updated and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.